How far back can we look now with the Webb telescope and that's newest large scale deep peering telescope that was launched into space and how far back have we pushed the horizon of view now? So yes, the James Webb telescope was launched on Christmas Day in 2021 and it's been uh, sending back uh, phenomenal images. What makes the Webb telescope so powerful is not that it can see farther back in time, although it can in a certain sense, but it doesn't have extra magnification and that's not required to see things that are farther away. In other words, if you use a tiny little telescope like the sort that Galileo used back in 1609 to spot the craters on the moon's surface, you could use a Hubble telescope can also look at the moon and it won't see things that are, it'll see more detail on the moon's surface, but it won't see farther than the moon because the moon is in the way. Now, if you look where there's no moon, where there's no planet, where there's no galaxies, where there's no absorbing matter whatsoever, then you're seeing back to the creation of whatever light your telescope is sensitive to. Now, visible light has only been around for a few billion years because before that time, because of the universe's expansion, that light has red shifted. It has gone from visible light to infrared light, which is invisible to our eyes, but highly visible. And that is the quarry that the Webb telescope is seeking. Now, if you go farther than the infrared, then you come to microwaves, which is what I study. So the longer the wavelength of light you're looking at, the farther you can go back in time, not because you're impeded by something, but because the source, the very source that you're looking at has been a diminished in intensity and has been reddened by the expansion of the universe, which is a phenomenal discovery that we've only known about for less than 100 years. But because of that universal expansion, we can only see using particular wavelengths of light. And so that's why the earliest light in the universe, there's no light that we could ever see that is more primitive than the cosmic microwave background that I and my colleagues are studying. The Webb telescope can't see far back in time as we can, but that's really irrelevant. It's designed to do something very specific. Look at the first galaxies that formed, the first stars that formed, exoplanets and other stellar solar systems in our own galaxy. And because of that phenomenal machine and unrivaled in its capability.